next one is uh, digital signal so before going to digital signal uh, so we can discuss certain things related to digital digital signal means uh, which is completely depends on binary number system before going to binary number system first we will discuss decimal number system for example decimal number system so here uh, we have 0 to 9 numbers 0 1 2 up to 9 right for example we can represent this decimal number system with n here n equals to 10 decimal means uh, that can be represented with n so we have 0 to 9 numbers initially we have 0 maximum number in this number system is 9 so how we can denote this 9 n minus 1 number right that means where n equals 1 decimal number system 10 10 minus 1 means uh, we will get 9 10 minus 1 so the maximum number possible in decimal number system is 9 okay decimal number system already we know this one right so but in this uh, digital signal in order to make the digital signal so definitely we need to go for a binary number system so binary means what n equals to 2 n equals to 2 okay decimal number system means a 10 that means overall we have 10 digits the 0 to 9 the minimum is 0 maximum is 9 that is that is denoted by n minus 1 in the same way binary number system also n equals to 2 means total numbers total digits in binary number system are only two only two numbers are possible only two digits are possible in binary number system right so that is 0 1 so where uh, this one is maximum number that means uh, n minus 1 here n equals what 2 minus 1 so the maximum number here is 1 here the maximum number equals to 9 that means what this entire binary number system having only two digits one is 0 another one is 1 that means digital signal is available in the form of zeros and ones this is digital signal which is available in zeros and once the digital signal is depends on binary number system that signal which is available in the form of zeros and ones this is about digital signal and one more thing for example so if you take okay any digital electronic circuit and any digital electronic system that can understand only binary language or is binary number system whichever the signal if you want to apply to any digital system first you need to convert that into digital signal digital signal means what so binary language binary numbers zeros and ones complete uh, the signal information in the form of zeros and ones so zeros and ones these two elements only can be able to read by the digital system no other things can be read by the digital system that means what if you want to process certain data okay first you need to convert that into digital signal after that you can apply to the digital electronic circuit most of the signals which are available in analog format right so that analog signal should be convert to a digital signal then you can apply to the digital electronic circuit otherwise digital system then it processes the entire data then it sends the data at output side this is regarding a digital signal and before going to the digital signal definition first we discuss how to convert that analog signal to digital signal so before converting that so we need to go for discrete signal right for example you want to represent analog signal with two axes okay one is x axis another one is y axis x axis is represented with the time duration okay y axis can be represented with uh, amplitude whether it is voltage or current right so these are the two things one is time another one is amplitude or was magnitude right so first you can discretize the time duration that means you can divide the time slots in previous case what happened in analog signal infinite samples can be possible for each and every sample we can get the amplitude each and every instant we can get the amplitude but in the in discrete signal so entire time duration can be discretized only for integer values that means if you take 0 to uh, 10 seconds so the amplitude so you can discretize this entire time duration 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 10 okay so no 0 0.1 no 0 0.2 that means there is no fractional portions now coming to y axis part so we can keep that y axis as it is but in this case what happened the amplitude can be defined only at integer numbers so first we need to uh, convert analog to digital 
Why? Because uh, the digital systems can understand only uh, digital inputs. So, but uh, we have most of the signals in analog format. So that's why we need to convert analog to digital signal conversion. So for that analog to digital conversion, we need to go for analog to digital converters. The same way there is a need for digital to analog conversion. Okay, at the end of for this digital system. Okay, after completion of process, so we need to again we need to convert this digital uh, signal to analog signal. In that situation, uh, we need to use uh, digital to analog uh, converters. This is the conversion mechanism analog to digital. In the meanwhile, in order to convert that analog to digital signal, first uh, we need to go for a time axis. We need to discretize the time. That means uh, we can divide the integers format uh, for entire uh, time duration. Okay, for that analog to digital signal conversion, we need to discretize the time axis. Discretization of time axis is nothing but what the amplitude is defined for only integer value of time instance. These all things are uh, we discussed. Okay, now uh, we have to move uh, for a discrete time signal, discrete signal. So for example, this is your signal. This is uh, time axis. This time axis is discretized, that means uh, only integer time instant possible. For example, here this is time integer 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Only the first one second, second one, third, fourth, like that uh, divided, discretized. At this first second only, the amplitude will be defined. For example, you can extend this one up to amplitude level, then this is the so here at this point only we can able to define the amplitude right and next second one second time instant okay at this second okay at this second only amplitude value can be defined okay and next third one third second at third second only we can able to define amplitude value in the same way at fourth second okay here we can able to define amplitude values this is your amplitude so in this case so this amplitude is uh, continuously varying with respect to time but time axis permits only integer time instant so now you tell me how you define this discrete signal this is one processing step before converting a uh, digital signal so in order to convert analog signal to digital signal this is the first step okay first you can discretize the time axis and that means uh, time axis is discontinuous part and whereas amplitude axis that means y axis is continuous one now you tell me how you define this discrete signal discrete signal is nothing but continuous variation in amplitude and discrete in discrete nature in so discrete signal is nothing but what continuous variation in amplitude and discrete in time so now uh, x axis is over that means time axis is discretized now the second step is you can discretize y axis also that means you can discretize amplitude part also now what you will get here i'm drawing same signal for this signal already uh, we can discretize this uh, time axis now this is the time to discretize this amplitude part now what you will get so here i am discretizing this part okay and in the same way this one this is another level at this situation time axis and amplitude axis both are discretized now we are getting certain levels right this is one level this is another level this is another so that means what so we have certain levels so this is a level one so here i am indicating so level one level two level 3 and level 4 okay. l1 l2 l3 4 this is level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and this is time axis t1 t2 t3 t4 so both are discretized right okay discretizing time in instant in both the axis uh, we can discretize so then you will get the levels level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 like that so now each and every level so we can assign codes okay so here we have uh, four levels so how you define digital signal now so digital signal is nothing but discrete in time as well as discrete in amplitude also in both the cases if it is discretized then it is called as digital signal 
so now i am writing here it is defined as discrete in time and discrete in amplitude that means uh, quantized in quantized in amplitude this is about digital signal okay it is defined as discrete in time and discrete in amplitude discrete in amplitude is also called as quantized in amplitude so after completion of discretization of amplitude we will get certain levels so after discretization of amplitude we will get number of levels an example we have l1 l2 l3 and l4 so these are the levels now after that we can encode each and every level with binary digits zeros and ones so after discretization of amplitude we will get number of levels depends on analog signal okay here in example we have total four levels l1 l2 l3 l4 okay all these four levels we can encode with binary data binary data means what zero and one digits right so each and every level this is complete four levels so four levels means each level we can accommodate with the two bits so that entire thing we will discuss later how uh, we can uh, define with the two digits okay why can't three okay that all those things we will discuss later but here each and every level because of four levels so we can accommodate with two two digits for each level so l1 we can define with 00 or 011011 okay there is a possibility if you take if you accommodate with the two digits means there is a possibility for four options that is 00 01 1011 the same way l2 also we can accommodate with the two digits that is 00 01 1011 so like that uh, for all the four levels we can accommodate with the total eight digits complete that eight digits is called binary data otherwise the digital data this is the conversion process from analog to digital right so uh, this is the pure analog signal here first we can discretize the time axis after that we can discretize the amplitude axis so after completion of that we can assign the number of levels and each and every level we can we can encode with the binary data so finally we will get all zeros and ones right so that entire analog signal is defined with zeros and ones that means conversion is done right so analog to digital conversion is over now whatever the digital data right now you have so that digital data the digital signal can be give the input to the any of digital electronic system if you provide this as input to the digital system then it can be processed okay why because the digital system can understand only zeros and ones now it process the complete data then it can be transmitted to output right so this is the conversion process analog to digital conversion process here i am explaining in outline nature how to convert analog to digital data but uh, separate subject digital communication subject is there in that subject it, it can be explained in detailed fashion okay okay now we will move on to next topic why we go for analog to digital so what is the need of uh, digital signal that we will discuss in next slide first reason is uncertainty of transmitting the analog signals so that is one reason and the second one the effect of noise which is lesser in digital compared to the analog while transmitting the data from the transmitter to receiver there is a possibility to get the disturbances those disturbances are called noise one is transmitter end for example this is your transmitter end and this is your receiver end just i am transmitting the signal from this uh, transmitter part to a receiver part right so in between there is a possibility this is completely medium right this is completely medium okay medium which is also called as channel right which is also called as channel so while transmitting the information in the medium okay there is a possibility to get the disturbances okay disturbances okay so we have various disturbances okay we have various disturbances so which is also called these disturbances is also called as noise okay so this noise is more impact in analog system so for example if you are transmitting analog signals directly from transmitter to receiver so there is a possibility to get uh, more noise in that uh, information right so in order to minimize that noise we need to go for 
digital signals transmission now you can send the data in the form of digital signal from transmitter to receiver then there should be get a minimum of noise so that is the one of the advantage uh, while preferring this uh, dig digital over the analog and next third one and the digital systems provides more accuracy that means accuracy depends on number of levels that means number of levels which is directly proportional to accuracy if number of levels increases okay automatically accuracy also data accuracy also increases number of levels increases while converting anal analog data to digital the analog signal is uh, divided into number of levels so that number of levels is increases the data accuracy will be increases okay that we will discuss later in detail manner okay so just you remember digital systems will provide more accuracy while comparing to the analog systems and next fourth one and which is more reliable while comparing to the analog digital is not perfect but better than Analog. These are the some of the reasons in order to choose uh, digital uh, systems. And the next one is signal processing. So already we discussed analog signals and digital signals, electrical and non-electrical signals. All these are signals, uh, which means uh, which carries certain amount of information, right? So what is signal processing? How do you process the signal? First, we discuss about signal processing. So after that, uh, we move on to uh, digital uh, system building blocks, right? So signal processing is nothing but so signal is uh, represented as storing, measuring, uh, reproducing, transmitting and receiving all these a part of process signal is represented as storing, measuring and uh, reproducing, transmitting, receiving then it is called as then it is called as signal processing. 